Ox joins us now for breaking down on UK and the NFL draft. First of all, have you ever covered anything like this before? I have not. Over <laughs> 600,000 people were in Nashville over this weekend. That many? It was an insane environment. It, the whole place was electric all weekend long. Had never seen anything like it, especially the draft is normally indoors. Having it outside it could be a trend that continues because that was a blast. It was a so, lot of fun. Something special happened on the red carpet. Yep. What was that about? Yeah, so we were on the red carpet, the only station in Kentucky actually on the red carpet, and Josh Allen had his wedding ring on his hand and all of a sudden mid-interview we're like whoa, whoa, whoa what's that right no one knew he was married he got married at the castle in versailles so congrats to josh allen and his wife caitlin now and uh, the other thing is no one had seen the citrus bowl rings yet yeah he had a citrus bowl ring on here we asked him you know how cool is it to have that hardware on your finger he said that's what happens when you come to uk you win games like this so you can just see how this program is taking one more step ahead and uh, it's, it's been fun to watch. Josh was, was just having the time of his life on the red carpet, and his son Wesley was along for the ride as well. He stole the show. So this moment you witnessed changed this young man's life and family, maybe yep. for generations. Yes. Could you sense that from him? What was he like in terms of poise and excitement? He was so calm. We talked to him uh, a couple weeks ago, and he said he was nervous, had butterflies. I asked him, do you have butterflies now that you're on the red carpet, ready to find your destination? He said no. He was, he was very calm. I think he said the marriage helped with that, too, just kind of getting settled, being able to focus on football and, and, and move ahead. But once he has his destination now, the money's one part of it. I think he realized how much that's going to change his life. Over $25 million guaranteed for Josh Allen moving forward with the Jaguars. And that'll certainly climb as he begins to make Pro Bowls and things down the road. But you can tell that his life is going to change for the better, and he's ready to make an impact on a very talented Jaguars defense. You made a point in the break before we took you live here about the players going to some teams that perhaps where they could really mm -hmm. stick. That was important, right? Well, That's Benny correct. Snell, for example. Oh, yeah. Benny Snell. Is there a more perfect fit than Benny Snell to the Steelers, <laughs> especially when it gets cold, when it starts snowing in December? Yeah. You're not going to want to tackle Benny Snell when he bursts through that hole. So he is a perfect fit in Pittsburgh. Mike Tomlin loves him, saying his charisma paired with the culture change he instituted at UK could help Pittsburgh a lot, especially in that locker room that kind of needs some stability right now. The other one that really sticks out is Mike Edwards. The Buccaneers secondary was terrible. The last couple of years. Right. Mike Edwards has a chance to step in and start right away. I think in Tampa Bay, you see Georgia Safo Jay, a big offensive lineman that could do a lot for, for protecting Eli Manning for now, uh, Daniel Jones in the future for UK and for the Giants' first round pick. Outside of that, you see Lonnie Johnson. He's so tall, the perfect build for, for the secondary. I yeah. think Bill O'Brien will get him rolling with the Texans. None of this should hurt. Uh, UK recruiting. Oh this should be a huge boost, don't you think? For, it already has uh, helped the recruiting. Last night, a four-star offensive lineman, John Young, out of Louisville committing to UK over programs like Georgia, Ohio State, Michigan. If you're Mark Stoops, you're living the dream right now because all these players, all these young high school players, they watch the draft, they saw what UK's doing, they see the development these guys can get. It makes your job easy, right? You go in these living rooms and say, hey, look at Josh Allen. Look at Lonnie Johnson. These guys came in here as undersized, mm -hmm. two-star recruits, and now look at them. They're stars making millions in the NFL. Real quick, did you have fun? I had a blast. It was so cool. <laughs> Tim McGraw was right next to me on the red carpet. I didn't get to say hi to him. That was my only regret about the whole trip. It was fun, though. All right, you did a good job. Thanks, Alex. Thanks.